Hi, I'm Thomas Bowers. I'm a harpsichordist and organist, and in previous years I've worked in harpsichord building and restoration. And in this video I'm going to give you a quick tour of the harpsichord and how it works. This instrument is one that I restored a few years back. It is a modern instrument, but it's built in the style of instruments from France in the mid to late 18th century. So it's built historically. Now harpsichords are plucked string keyboard instruments. So the sound is produced by plucking a string and it's controlled by keyboards. This is a double manual instrument which means that it has two keyboards and that gives uh, the player some versatility in what's called registration. Now registration is choosing which choirs of strings you want to engage at the keyboard. And this particular instrument has three choirs of strings which we'll get into after we look at the basic mechanism that controls these things. So when you press the key down, the back of the key rises and it pushes up a little device called a jack. And the jack plucks the string and then upon releasing the key, the uh, plectrum, which is the, the small part that actually plucks the string, moves around the string so it doesn't pluck it a second time. And finally, the jack comes to rest on the damper, which is just a small piece of felt that stops the string from sounding. So, what do we mean by choirs? Uh, well, this instrument, as I said, has three choirs of strings. And what that means is, at the keyboard, I can engage any one of those three choirs solo or on their own, or I can mix them in different ways to get different timbres or different sound color, tone colors. Um, so we have the back eight foot here, the front eight foot here, and the forefoot in the middle. So the forefoot just means that it sounds an octave above eight foot pitch. So as you'll hear, these strings are an octave above um, the note you're playing. And it just adds a little bit of brilliance up on top of the, the tone. Now let's go through these and see what they sound like. So here's the back eight foot. Uh, this has sort of your mellow tone to it. And here's the front eight foot, which I control from the upper manual. This has a more nasal sound than the back eight. Now I can combine these two by coupling the keyboards. So I push the upper manual in, and now from the lower manual I can control both keyboards, and you'll see these upper keys moving with the lower. And if I push a key slowly, you can hear both of those plucks. Back eight, front eight. Now there's a third choir, the forefoot, that sounds an octave above and that's just going to put a little bit more brilliance on top of that chord. And again, you can hear when I play the note slowly, you can hear all of those three plucks of the three choirs. So here's middle C, forefoot, back eight, front eight, and together. And there's one more option for tone timbre on um, this instrument, and that is called the buff stop. It's this little rail right here, all these little pieces of leather. I push this lever, and it pushes the leather against the string to essentially mute it a little bit. So that's it. Those are the, uh, the options for registration at the harpsichord. That's how it, it works. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something about the harpsichord.